So here we are at the ocean in Bocas del Toro and we're gonna take advantage of the ocean. Go scuba dive. Here is supposed to be a really nice scuba dive and we're gonna hit up a shipwreck and a reef. Two dives for $65. So 30 something a dive. One catch is we have to take a little water taxi over to Carinero Island, but that's supposed to be like a dollar and a one minute ride. It is raining right now. We're hoping it stays cool in here, but we got all the fans set up, all the window covers everywhere. And actually they said, the captain likes dogs. Go ahead and bring your dog. So it'll be a lot less hot in here without some regenerating heat too. So Graham should be good. Leaving all the fans going for the little buddy. Plenty of water. It'll be a fun day. I'm not worried about him at all. Uh, this is the first time we're taking some Pita on a scuba dive with us. She's gone on plenty of boats, but never any boats that we actually left the boat. So I think she's going to be fine. And she's. it seems like she's a little nervous. We're going to leave her right now. So she's going to be excited to be with us all day, except for the you know, 45 minutes we're in the water. It's going to be a good day for her too. And I hope Kurt's feeling a little better. It's too bad about his ear. Panama Dive Center here on the water on Carinero Island. Take a little water taxi over here from the main island, Isla Colon. And this is also the Leaf Eaters restaurant. Pretty sweet little setup. Water taxi drops you off right at the dock. And we're just waiting for the weather to clear up a little bit. So we can head out on this boat here. <laughs> all right, all suited up. We got some Vita too. I'm coming with us. So this sunken ship was sunk on purpose by Tony from Panama Dive School and other community members. They did their best to remove all the wiring, oil, and sharp edges to make this boat into an artificial reef for wildlife to thrive. One day we up, one day we up, 
day we down, one day we up down, one day we up. One day we go down, one day we go, one day we down, one day we go down, one day we go, one day we down, one day we go down, one day we go, one day we down, one day we go, one day we go, one day we down. Panama Dive School. Definitely got to recommend this one. Beautiful spot here. Great crew. Took care of everything for us. Excellent price. And they recently moved in here with the Leaf Eaters Cafe after the pandemic shut down the last spot. So I'll come over here, support a good crew. So we're taking advantage of being over here on this island just to scope it out a bit. We heard from the crew back there there's a good barbecue joint over here. Some Brita. Off the boat, getting some of that energy out. She was such a good girl. And we were actually diving off that next island there. This island has like a completely different feel. There's not any cars, there's no roads. So we found the restaurant we were looking for with the barbecue, Receta Michelle, and Google says it's one of the top new restaurants. But here, We got the goods. And it smells nice. <laughs> Somebody wants to come see. <laughs> what you got? Hummus, pumpkin seed hummus. Man, this place mm. is to the nines. <laughs> the little bowls, the presentation. I gotta get my protein up. Wow. The view. Wow, here's our feast here. I got my barbecue chicken. So many sides. And Emily's got this coconut curry over here. Beautiful. I'm definitely gonna have some of his yuca fries. They look delicious. And I, yeah, this looks super tasty. Mm. I'm excited to dig in. Time to eat. We're headed over to a new area of the island. This is the Playa Bluff side. And we're gonna scope it out. All right, well the road is ending. Now we're gonna start this sandy dirt, rocky road. Whoops! It's like right at the side of the ocean. Yeah. Whoa! This is beautiful though, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, well, look tiny. at that. The oh, wow, the water. In. It's breaching those rock levees. <laughs> Holy! And it feels like really hard back. I don't think I've ever driven a road like this before. I'd imagine at high tide, this is probably just underwater. Here we go. Yeah, so this part here is more of the same, but you'll see right up here how it looks. Oh, the water is crashing onto the road. <laughs> right there. Yeah. So let's hit ESC off. Oh. And uh, it looks like completely fine though, right? Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Felt a little bit of slide in there. Yeah, a little bit of wheel spin. This place is dope. Look at this. This is like a house on stilts like in New Orleans or something. So I put in the directions here to the next hyperlander spot. It's called the Paunch, and it's just like a wild camp spot. So we might just keep going after that. I just didn't want to just check it. Check it out. Yeah, I think there's a road that goes back up in there. I don't know that dog. Whoa! Look at this up here. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be doing that. That looks pretty wild right there. Wow. Yeah, this is kind of a deep spot here. I don't think I'm going to go through that. Skills! <laughs> yeah. No way. No way. Oh. These are all 4x4. Four four. Oh my. Yeah, so we made the decision there to turn back. The worker there said during the day when it's not raining, it's it's really not crazy at all crossing there. But right now there's a creek there, so all the rain has made it pretty deep. The only vehicles I saw going through were 4x4. Four four. 
Okay, let's figure something out. We'll get something over here. All right, it looks like we found a spot for the night. It's pretty dang nice looking out the front window and seeing just waves crash five meters in front of us. Yeah, that's open ocean there. There's not any islands or anything. That is open ocean. We could just, here. we could turn this van into a sailboat right now and just <laughs> <laughs> sail to Colombia. <laughs> Four wheel drive to Colombia. <laughs> I need some floaties. Maybe not even, where would this go? Would this go to Africa right now? Are we pointed towards Africa? map Okay, here we go. We're we're pointed okay. towards We're actually pointed this way, I would say, because that's that island. Okay. So if you go past that island, you're gonna end up oh Colombia! Either, either that part of Panama or yeah you would hit Colombia. So we're either going to Cologne or Cartagena. Which is where <laughs> we kind of wanted to go anyway. So I call that a win. Let's go, babe. Four wheel drive. Throw it into four wheel drive. <laughs> 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 okay, next time. Well, it's not much, but it's something. And we'll take it for the night. That's where we are in relation to high tide. Water is coming up over the road a good amount now. Yeah, the high tide is definitely higher than the last high tide. I'm a little nervous, honestly, because it's getting pretty close. Oh. <laughs> that, that wave was very close. And if it gets much closer than that, we might have to move. We're gonna call it a night here and wish us luck. A little bit of a sketch situation. <laughs> but there's not that many spots on this island. I mean, hopefully no one kicks us out. I think we'll be okay. There's basically no one around, which is super cool. Kind of what I prefer. Some people would be scared. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this spot was pretty great. Like. We're glad we didn't have to use that Overlander to find it or pay to stay somewhere. But we're definitely not trying to stay another night here. It's just a, you know, it was kind of getting late, time to find a spot type of spot. Luckily, the dive shop offered to host us at their property on this island. The dive shop owner, his brother and dad also been around in the U.S kind of similar to what we did doing ski trips and sleeping in the parking lot of ski mountains and stuff like that. So uh, he offered to let us stay at his property over here on this island, which is super nice. There's showers and bathrooms and everything. So, so nice of him to let us stay here. So please, then you want to make some dojis? You want to make some dojis? Still, but I think we get solar right here too. Sick. Hey! <laughs> Good, how are you? Good. Man, I could definitely use a shower for sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is perfect. Yeah, Tony, Panama Dive School. That's as far as we made it yesterday with the van. And the nicest guy, he said basically just stay here, use the kitchen, use the bathroom, shower. We can even sleep up here. We like the bed if we have, you know. The owner passed us a couple of the coconuts here. Yeah, I got it open with the, the saw. It's pretty quick. You get a little channel to drink out of it. So I'm pretty stoked because this dive shop owner has four dogs. So now with somebody that we have five dogs running around, that makes me so happy. I get to give all the pets. Let's see if we can get them all to introduce themselves. Somebody to Benaki. They're all girls except for Charlie here. Hi, buddy. Good morning. Pork chop. Hi, pork chop. Pork chop, pork chop. Buena chica. There's Amo. Hola, chica. Buenos dias, chiquita. Buenos dias. The morning of paradise here. We're so lucky to have met these people. You know, it was hard finding a spot around the island and this guy opened his doors to us. Really, thank you Tony and Panama Dive School. Yeah, and Lana. But we're not accustomed to staying in one place long, so it's time to mosey on. We're probably gonna go back to the main area, take a boat, check out something else, and then come back down this road, check out Bluff eventually. I don't know if that'll be tonight or tomorrow. But yeah, Boca del Toro, there's, there's a lot to do, but with a van, there's not many spots for a van. The campground that used to be here is closed. 
so it's a little tricky but you know we're having a great time the water taxis are crazy easy to take so that's really nice did you join a new pack today you think these dogs are socialized with cats uh, this one doesn't care at all huh? i think pork chop is the only one that would be like uh unsure she is a good girl Charlie is already chill with Graham. Charlie knows Graham. Pork chop? I'm unsure about pork chop. Looks like no one really cares. I really wanted to go out, you know? It's funny, sometimes whenever you bring a cat out in a place with five dogs, sometimes it wouldn't work out, but I think that these dogs are so relaxed, they're so well taken care of, that it's all good. They they're... probably wander around and encounter a lot of chickens and cats. Whenever Tony's home, he lets the gate open. So then the dogs can wander around and sometimes they'll wander around for quite a long time. Graham does have somebody to protect him because she is protective of her older brother. <laughs> protective of Graham and mildly annoying to Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Last night they slept next to each other though. What's kind of cool about Boca del Toro is there's still a lot of undeveloped land. Like up here, this backyard looks like a nice leveled spot. They're just building the neighbor's uh, house right here. Check out this pool and that view and I'm thinking this property is still reasonably priced there's a lot to go around and you know the road isn't very developed but once it is this land price is gonna skyrocket I guess I think it's just probably a good place to invest with one caveat Tony did think this water might rise and become an issue within the next 10 years. Global warming, it's real. And when somebody on an island talks about it, it's more real. How long has it been since you had some vegan food? I don't know. I mean, I make vegan food every day, but someone else make it for me. <laughs> Take a good burg. Always good to support the local vegan option for Emily. For me, always good to support the local skate park. <laughs> so Tony suggested a lap around the island while we're over on Carnero. So yeah, we're gonna walk around. It should be about a 40 minute walk around the island. It's gonna be fun. dogs on this walk have been super friendly to some Vita. Sometimes they'll just like bark and then run up and start wagging their tail. So that's good. We feel safe with our dog. Our friend Tony actually said it's probably safer with the dog. And especially because there's a myth about black dogs that they're reincarnated from something else. So people are a little bit afraid of black dogs. So this is the surf beach here. You can walk over or the water taxi will just drop you off. And I see one guy out there in a high-vis outfit. So we just talked to a local, and he said, you know, it's good right now, it's safe, don't worry. And that there's a pretty sweet payoff up here if we go up to the corner. One of the most beautiful beaches, according to him. So we'll go at least that far. But inland here is definitely Marshy Swamp. There's a really nice trail along the beach. He did mention there is this trail over here that you can use to cross over to the other side of the island and cut back down. And it looks like it goes through the marshiness. Might scope the map, see how extended that would be. Not sure how crazy we're gonna get today, but that's probably a good option. This is amazing because you can be in the town the whole time and never really experience the nature. Epic out here, just a short walk, one dollar water taxi, and three amp bites away. Nice little sea cove. And across we have another island, Basimentos, I'm pretty sure. There's goes crazy guy. 
So we decided to check out this cross island trail here. This is pretty sick, just heading into the jungle. This trail is super well maintained. We were worried it would be through the swamp and so you'd be walking in water, but uh, they have these sandbags, wood around it. Pretty quick way to cross the island and make a circle out of our walk instead of a straight line. The side of Carinero has a super chill vibe to it. So this part of the island looks super fancy. Everybody's got their own dock. It's really nice over here, private properties. I don't know if there's actually any hotels or restaurants, but it looks like a lot of people call this place home. This reminds me of Pavonis, that really sweet grass we camped on. Now that we're almost back to the water taxi, it's definitely the more local living situation up on stilts. And uh, the dog's a bit protective. Yeah. Wow, so we made it all the way around the loop. <laughs> Not sure how, but it was, it was a nice walk. <laughs> I think it was super interesting to see that local area. I loved it, yeah. You know, because, yeah, maybe they don't have a ton, but honestly, they live in an amazing place. Yeah. And, you know, that really counts for something in terms of how much stress they have and happiness. And uh, it was just really interesting. So here's the dock back to the other island. We got a boat waiting. Get to the van. So we made it back to the van. That was a really cool little tour of Carinero Island and got to see the homies where we spent the night and went scuba diving with. Thanks for joining us on our scuba trip and around Carinero Island in Bocas del Toro. We'll see you guys next time when we check out another Bocas Island. See ya!